Hello everyone and welcome back to ESO Tips and Tricks with Crypto Gamer. In this video today guys we are going to be looking at the new set collections and how to um, acquire these sets. So guys it's very very simple. To start off with all you're going to do is any set item that you have in your inventory on any character you can break it down. Now when you break down these set items, they carry across your entire account as far as I am aware. On top of that guys, they have also put the transmutation stones up from 200 to 1000. Now I don't know entirely if that is because of ESO Plus, because I have ESO Plus, so it could just be 500. Now typically, depending on the sets, it's anywhere between 55 depending on the set item and um, 55 transmutation crystals up to 75 so this is why they basically added this in now in order to actually create the sets or to change an item into a set piece you will actually have to use the transmutation station so I would recommend that you get ESO plus so that you get access to the clockwork DLC in order to use transmutation stations um, you can either go to the transmutation station in the clockwork city or if you have a guild that has a guild member that owns one of these transmutation stations you can travel directly to their um, primary residence so as you can see here guys you're basically just going to break down each individual item and it says sets updated and it will tell you all the different set pieces that you get now, this is my first time even looking at the sets, guys, so I did a lot of faffing about while I was making, uh, recording the clips for this video. I personally think this is fantastic, guys. You're never going to need to worry about having an overflowing inventory again. You're never going to have to keep pieces of inventory um, or set pieces because you'd have to go out and farm them naturally. Now you can just create them yourself. This also negates and cuts the need for having to do hundreds, if not thousands, of dungeon runs just to get that one set piece that you really like. No more having to uh, grind it out with the Maelstrom Arena. I mean, initially you will have to do that in order to actually get the pieces to break them down. But once you've done that, you can just spread it across your characters and, and create the parts that you need so long as you have the transmutation crystals available at your disposal. I recommend if you are a new player and you are leveling up to CP160, just break down every single set piece that you can. Don't bother keeping it, just break it all down because you're going to be breaking down all your sets and researching traits anyway throughout the game as you progress to CP level 160. As you can see there are miscellaneous, this is usually for the training sets or the starter gear sets that you will get. Um, when you look in your collections menu or whenever you're breaking down sets you are going to find that all the different sets are organized by the regions where they come from so whether it's Ebonheart Pact or whether it's Daggerfall Covenant or the Aldemary Dominion and even by which zones they come from whether they be PvP zones, uh, dungeon zones, DLC zones, battlegrounds um, Imperial City, so on and so forth. You get the picture, guys. They've kept it all very, very organized, and when you go into your collections menu as well, it will say collections or sets, and obviously it will screen down to sets. Um, as you can see, I've broken down a few different things. I actually went across all my characters and started just breaking down everything wildly. I wasn't caring even about the set pieces that I wanted to keep. I thought, no, it's better to warn the set traits. Then that way, um, I could recreate them in my own time. A great thing as well guys is this is great for transmutation crystals. You're never going to have too many transmutation crystals left in your inventory. You're actually going to be able to utilize them every time you earn them through uh, dungeons or through PvP. So guys here we are. I am at Benny Boy's Dominion here and I'm at a transmutation station and this is where you're actually going to be able to create the sets. So in this uh, example, guys, I'm basically just going to make a random set piece just for the sake of it, just to show you how it works. You can change the uh, 
quality of the item, you can create it at a level green or a level blue or a level purple or a level yellow and of course orange is for legendary items only. You can even choose the traits, so on and so forth. If you obviously have a particular style, I would create random items with the particular style that you want and then use the transmutation station to add the attributes that you would acquire. Um, this is really good guys, I'm really really happy with this. It makes the game much more fluid, much more easy. I remember when I first played ESO and the game has come on Games and Bound. You know, I will definitely be doing a video about a general ESO review. Um, going through all the recent changes that has went through and I will be making starter video guides for people to learn how to play the game if you're a brand new player. So guys, if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, a like, a share and a subscribe and stay tuned for more videos guys. This has been Crypto Gamer. have a fabulous day, peace out.